And here we all are. All right. Please stay close to me while we're inside. It should be safe, but it's always better to be cautious. What's up, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing a Skyrim video. This is under Sarathal, and it follows after the first lesson in the Wizards Guild or whatever. And you have to meet Tolfier and the other students at Sarathal and basically explore the runes. And this continues on the quest for the Mage Guild, if you've joined it, and you'll eventually end up completing all the quests. But let's get on with this quest called Under Sarthal. And here we all are. All right. Please stay close to me while we're inside. It should be safe, but it's always better to be cautious. You know, it's funny. The wizards of the Mage Guild, our Mage College, are kind of condescending. They treat the apprentices like, well, they're children. Now, Tolfier will amble on and blah, 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 so I'm going to fast forward through this until you get your assignment. Well, are there any questions before we begin? Ah, yes. Hmm. Well, why don't you see if you can assist Arniel Gain? He's one of our scholars, here working on cataloging our finds. I expect he'd appreciate some help in locating any additional magical artifacts here in the ruins. Any enchanted items will do. The usefulness of the enchantment is irrelevant. If you find anything, the class can look it over. going to take forever to sit. What? Ah, yes. You. I remember you. You're going to help? That's fine. Just... Just don't make a mess of my work. I've only looked through a portion of this section. You, uh... You can look around in the chambers just north of here. Try and be careful, all right? We don't want to damage anything. Now you got to find four artifacts, and eventually it leads to some misadventure. So I will fast forward through to that misadventure. What in the world was that racket? Is everything all right? How in the world did that happen? Really? Perhaps the amulet is important somehow. Is there some way you can use it? You want to use some form of destructive magic here, and I advise flames, or you can use lightning. I used flames. Yeah, I'm going to fast forward through to the uh, next major encounter because, yeah, it's a little boring walk. I'm not sure what to expect here. Please be on your guard. Hold, mage, and listen well. Know that you have set in motion a chain of events that cannot be stopped. Judgment has not been passed, as you had no way of knowing. Judgment will be passed on your actions to come, and how you deal with the dangers ahead of you. This warning is passed to you because the Sigic Order believes in you. 
You, mage, and you alone have the potential to prevent disaster. Take great care and know that the Order is watching. I... I swear I felt something rather strange just then. What just happened? I'm afraid I didn't see anything. Can you tell me more about what you saw? The Sigic Order? Are you quite sure about that? That's very odd. And danger ahead? Why, that doesn't make any sense at all. The Sigics have no connection to these ruins. And no one's seen any of their order in a long time. Perhaps we should take a look inside these coffins. Now, please do be careful. Who knows what we're going to find? You find some Draugr and they attack you. The Sigic Order. Hmm. Interesting. The Dragonborn has something to do with this. And, well, it bears further investigation. If you continue playing the Mage Guild or Mage College quests, you'll find out what happens. And I'm going to fast forward a little bit through things because it's just battling Draugr and not very interesting. Now you get to the next level and you wander your way through. You battle Draugr. Some can be pretty tough. I'm going to fast forward through to something where I would like to make a point and point out some interesting part. Once you get up to this second floor and battle the Draugr Death Lord, uh, you want to explore around a little bit because there are hidden chests and some hidden value here, like this glass dagger. And again, you want to walk around a little bit because there are some urns and stuff with gold and some other things that are, well, somewhat useful. It depends on what is in the area. I'm using um, candlelight because it's really useful in these dungeons for searching. I don't see anything else on this second level here. I'm going to jump across and see if there, yep, there's a hidden chest here with an apt lockpick. I'm going to fast, oh, I got it quickly. Ooh, and some neat stuff. But I'm gonna fast forward on to the next part. Now we get to the puzzle, and this is relatively easy. Uh, if you look at the switch here, and you look at the puzzles, behind them are plaques that show you what you need to set the puzzles to. Like this one is whale, and it's set to whale. You turn around. I want to use candlelight here. But again, you see that whale, whale. Here you got whale, falcon. So you flip this to falcon. You come back here. You got falcon snake, so you flip this to snake. You come over to here. You got to flip this to falcon. And then you go to the final two. And this one has to be a whale. And you walk over here. And this one has to be a falcon. And it opens.
This is going to be more fighting Draugr, and I level up my character, so I'm just going to fast forward through to the next main event. Another puzzle, and wow, yeah. You just got to line the pillars with the symbol behind them. Like, you know, this is relatively easy. Uh, these puzzle traps weren't designed to keep you out. The puzzle traps were designed to keep stuff locked in. And now you got to flip this puzzle around and uh, align them. Whale, whale, hawk, hawk, uh, snake, snake. Easy enough. This is a whale. Wait, they are moving. You got to start with a pillar. That's whale. That moved, so you flip that to snake. That didn't move. Good. Now you come over and you got to do this one. Flip that to whale. And flip this to hawk. Because, unfortunately, if you don't do them in order, they flip. And you got to do the last one first and the first one last. Yep, they're all lined properly. I was just messing around, so it opens. This is where the main quest begins, and you find the Eye of Magnus, but they don't know that it is the Eye of Magnus yet. It is some artifact that is curious, and while Tolifar is doing something to disrupt the magic field, you gotta slay the bad guy. So use some healing potions and attack when the guy's not glowing. All right then. Over here. The Golder Amulet Fragment, which, yeah, you will have a separate quest to deal with that. Now you talk to Tolifer. Utterly unique. I have no idea. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. The Archmage needs to be informed immediately. He needs to see this for himself. I don't dare leave this unattended. Can you return to the college and inform Sabosaran of this discovery? Please, hurry. Once you inform the Archmage, the quest is over. But do not leave before you search around, get a little couple of gold and some other things here. And there is the ooh, Staff of Jarek, whatever it is. Um, that is worth something. It's kind of useful. You got some potions and stuff here. Again, you want to explore the runes, the urns, and drain this place of whatever you can get from it. Yep, some more gold. Then there's the back entrance somewhere here. Uh, a little candlelight, and now I can see. And there will be the boss chest. Once you exit, it's behind the eye. Now I'm just checking this area out now behind here. And this is the back entrance. You can run down here. And there is the boss chest. You want to clear that out. Then go tell what's his name. And there is a word wall here. And let's see, the word for today is word of power, flesh, ice form. Ooh. Uh, clear out the boss chest here. And then go tell the arch mage. Ooh. Nah. Kind of junky. Well, go tell the arch mage, and the quest will be over.
What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Ah, please don't tell me that another one of the apprentices has been incinerated. I have enough to deal with right now. I... see. I trust that Tolftir will provide a more... specific explanation. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Tolftir normally looks after your little group, yes? Since he's apparently occupied, and I will need to see this discovery for myself, I think perhaps you should begin researching the subject. Speak with Urog in the Arcanium. See if he's aware of anything that matches your discovery. And good work. The next time you find yourself exploring Nordic ruins, perhaps this will be helpful. So you get a Staff of Mage Light and you get a new assignment hitting the books. Yeah. The Mage College is kind of a drag. But if you like the video, hit the like button. I post four videos a week. And you want to hit that subscribe button and bell icon to stay informed and so that you don't miss out. Um, if you liked this video, thank you. Thank you for viewing. And thank you for subscribing. And thank you for stopping by.